hey everyone this is gayatri and I, i welcome you all on my youtube channel today we are going to discuss problem from maharashtra set mathematics which is from part 2 the problem says if p is a group of order p raised to n where n is any natural number then we have options order of zg need not be power of p zg is center of group g option b zg is not singleton option c zg is not commutative and option d zg need not be normal subgroup of g okay so we have g is any group and order of this g is p raised to n where n is any natural number greater than 1 that means uh, this g is p group and uh, we know that this zg which is center of group is always subgroup of g you know this thing we have this theorem zg is subgroup of g and another theorem which is very powerful in group theory which is lagrange's theorem it says that order of subgroup order of any let's say subgroup h divides order of group g that means this order of zg should divide order of g since z uh, since zg is subgroup of g and our option 1 is order of zg need not be power of p that is power of prime p is prime here so guys see divisors of this pn can be 1 p p square p cube p raised to 4 till p raised to n minus 1 and p n these are all possible divisors of this p raised to n so order of zg has to be power of prime nothing else so our option a is wrong that is order of zg need not be power of prime is wrong so a is discarded now b is zg is not singleton see this option is correct this is very famous theorem in group theory that if we have g whose order is power of prime so zg is non trivial subgroup of g it is not equal to singleton identity proof of this theorem is uh, given in description box you can check that out uh, the whole proof is given with details and uh, let us check option c and d option c says that Z, uh, zg is not commutative zg is not commutative so guys see Z, uh, what is definition of zg it is the collection of all such elements of g which commutes with every other element of g where uh, where x belongs to g zg is collection of all such elements in g which commutes with every other element of g so it has to be commutative since because zg is abelian group so it has to be commutative so option c is also wrong and option d is zg need not be normal subgroup of g again this is wrong since uh, zg is abelian and we know that abelian group implies normal group so it is normal group zg is always normal subgroup of g so option d is also wrong so correct option is b whose proof is given in description bo box please check that out uh, so our option b is correct thank you so much for watching this video do like subscribe and share with your friends